All right, so you have to see what our morning is like putting that diaper on a uh, little bamboo. It is a struggle, but it is a beautiful day out. So we're gonna go ahead and take her outside. Come on, girl. Let's see if I can find her a little sweater. It's a little cool, but it feels great. I'm not even gonna have to wear a jacket, I'm just gonna wear a long sleeve shirt. I got to my true Famous number one desirable. Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it. Leave you with that one in the air. That's how I want it. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, also famous number one desirable. Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it. Leave you with that one in the air. That's how I want I got t shirts, so I don't care. I'm on the road. I thought I'd get bamboo out here. It is really pretty weather today. It's a little cool, and it's really overcast, really dark, but I really need to get started on her. Emu house. I don't know where she's running to. She's running over there. Come on. So we went and picked up a bunch of wood so we can frame up this bad boy. So I need to get this off the trailer and get it right over here into the Bantam yard. Start framing this up today and see how far we can get. I've got to run around here while I'm getting the tools out and I don't want her to run out to the road or do something weird so I'm gonna put her in with the chickens and see how the bantam flock and the peacocks see if they can get along together for the day. So ultimately I need this spot right here where this bantam coop is. She's not gonna move out here yet, and I'm not gonna have it totally built yet, but I wanna frame it up right in place. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna slide this over just a little ways. And I haven't moved this tractor in maybe a couple of years. I don't know, it really hasn't moved in about a year and a half. So I'm gonna slide that right over there so I have room for uh, this building that I'm gonna make. That was a pretty heavy one-man move. <laughs> well, now they're all playing on this. This is our, their old area right here. They're gonna have some new, I mean, look, they're on top of some grass here actually right now inside their home, so it'll be a little damp. I'm gonna need to throw some straw in there or something, but this will be a perfect area to start this build. I'm gonna break it up a little bit, move it around, but then I'm gonna start bringing some wood in. think I end up going twice as big as I originally planned I was only gonna do one board and width here and I just said gosh that's enough room for like one emu and one emu and they can't move around in there so I ended up making it double wide right here and then across the front I was gonna make it either a square and just make it two spots and then I decided to do three slots and then ultimately I'm gonna do four slots I'll have walls and then I'll either do two doors or just one door, something like that. But I'm gonna need way more wood. I'm a little short up here. I need to, to get some more two by fours for the, to frame in the roof. And then we'll get some metal. But the last thing I can do today 
just to make this thing start looking like a home is to put it in the back wall just so you can get an idea of what it'll look like when we get the pallets on there. Ooh, she is muddy. You're so muddy. All right guys, what do you think? The start of Bamboo's new house here. I can't believe I got this much progress done in just a couple hours. We got four sections up here. We've got a peaked roof. And back here, we've got the start of the pallet wall. I think this whole front wall, I'm gonna need some more pallets for, and each one is about uh, one pallet. So I'm gonna have to break down about four or five more pallets, but I'm pumped. I think this would easily house three or four emus in it. So I'm excited about it, so. Oh, and you know what guys? I need to show you a little surprise. Let me get Bamboo inside, get her cleaned off. We've got a fun surprise to show you. I've been pushing away everybody I love. We moved the broody Silky out into the brooder out here, which is in our shed. We started to see them pip. We know some of these four eggs are gonna hatch. Let's see what we've got so far. Got a black copper moran chick. Looking great. Oh my gosh, we got a bunch of them. There's the second one, much lighter in color. So much lighter. And the third one that just hatched. Look at that, looking great. Or she's stuck in there. That one's still attached to the egg. This one's still attached to the egg. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close All right, so we've got a surprise. We had four Morans hatch out. We actually had, I think three of them are black copper Morans and one is a splash, maybe a blue, and this one Started out really white, but now she's looking pretty gray, maybe a blue, not quite sure. And we were doing a little experiment. We had the black copper morans uh, all separated in one of the chicken tractors with the red golden pheasant so we could breed them for a little bit, have some fertile eggs. And then we were also testing out a few incubators and the incubator really failed on us. And so we didn't have uh, any eggs hatch out of that. And we'll tell you about that somewhere down the road. We'll, we'll test it again, because I think I've got it figured out. But for now, we have these four chicks that uh, Broody Silky hatched out. All right, Becky, so why Morans? Why do we like Black Copper and all the other Morans so much? We love the color of the eggs. They're dark, beautiful colors. Here's a white egg. So it's as dark brown as you can get. Mm -hmm. And these chicks are a French variety because they have feather feet. And I think most of ours are out there are all French. I know the rooster for sure is, so they all got that characteristic in there. You like yours? Yes, Tessie. Yeah, it's cute. I'm going to get ready to walk it's off. It's cute. This is your favorite, Eli? This guy. Is it a guy or a girl? I don't know. Oh, I've been seeking forgiveness because I know I was wrong. Oh no, the emu house. It's got a big lean. At least it didn't fall over, but uh oh. I didn't quite support it well enough, I guess. It is muddy and rainy today. Oh my gosh, it's so muddy. Look at this. It's our yard. Jack. Hey, buddy. All right, well, I've got some scrap wood that I cut off of these pieces of wood right here, and I think I can use those to support at the corners to hold it all together. Hopefully that'll keep it up. Oh man, 
All right, finally found a board big enough to support it. I think that'll help me get to phase two of the project. Now I can let out the chickens. Won't you save?